multiple sclerosis, pathogenesis, subtypes, and clinical manifestation. The most common immune-mediated inflammatory demyelinating disease of the central nervous system is multiple sclerosis. Among central nervous system disorders, MS is the most frequent cause of permanent disability in young adults, aside from trauma. MS affects more women than men. The clinical disease usually becomes apparent between the ages of 15 to 45 years. Pathogenesis MS is a heterogeneous disorder with variable clinical and pathologic features reflecting different pathways to tissue injury. Inflammation, demyelination, and axonal degeneration are the major pathologic mechanisms that cause the clinical manifestations. However, the cause of MS remains unknown. The most widely accepted theory is that MS begins as an inflammatory immune-mediated disorder characterized by autoreactive lymphocytes. Later, the disease is dominated by microglial activation and chronic neurodegeneration. The characteristic neuropathologic feature of MS is the presence of focal demyelinated plaques within the central nervous system, accompanied by variable degrees of inflammation and gliosis, with partial preservation of axons. These lesions tend to be located in the optic nerves, spinal cord, brainstem, cerebellum, and the juxtacortical and paraventricular white matter. In addition, demyelinated lesions can also be found in the corpus callosum and cortical gray matter. Axonal injury can be a prominent pathologic feature of the MS plaque. The pattern and course of MS are further categorized into several clinical subtypes. Clinically isolated syndrome, representing the first attack of MS. Relapsing remitting MIS. Characterized by clearly defined attacks, also known as relapses, flares, or exacerbations, with full or incomplete recovery. Relapsing remitting MS accounts for approximately 85 to 90% of cases at onset. Secondary progressive MIS. Characterized by an initial relapsing remitting MS disease course, followed by gradual worsening with or without occasional relapses, minor remissions, and plateaus. The transition from relapsing remitting MS to secondary progressive MS usually occurs 10 to 20 years after disease onset. Primary progressive MIS. Characterized by progressive accumulation of disability from disease onset with occasional plateaus, temporary minor improvements, or acute relapses still consistent with the definition. Primary progressive MS represents about 10% of adult MS cases at disease onset. Clinical manifestation. There are no clinical manifestations that are unique to MIS. Common symptom signs of MS including sensory symptoms in the limbs or face. Visual loss. Acute or subacute motor weakness, diplopia, gait disturbance, and balance problems, lair meat sign, electric shock like sensations that run down the back and or limbs upon flexion of the neck, vertigo, bladder problems, limitaxia, acute transverse myelitis, and pain. If you find this video helpful, please hit the subscribe and bell buttons. And don't forget to like and share this video. Thanks.